on guys it's sonic lego customs here and today i will be showing you guys uh three new figures that i made and all three of these are new well one is one i just recently found so yeah let's get started so here's the figure i made just today cyclops from the x-men so here's cyclops so yeah so basically the gist is um the, the visor was sculpted from clay and then um, it was painted silver, and then I gave it a red line to represent the line in the visor. The body was painted um, with the straps and everything, and the X logo on there, and then the front belt. The legs I painted blue, and then I added the green, um, not the green, the yellow boots. And I did give him yellow hands to represent the yellow gloves he has. And this version of him is basically the comics version of him. And then the hairpiece was, um, I really can't remember which hairpiece it is. But I know it's the Superman hairpiece. It, um, originally it started out with the Superman hairpiece, but it's in brown. So yeah, that's it for Cyclops. So now our next figure is, um, the Collector. So here's the Collector. Um... As you can see, his cloak was made from cotton balls. Um, so, yeah, it was made completely from cotton balls, which I glued onto this cape. The hairpiece was the Doctor Who hairpiece that I cut the main, like, front part off to make it look like his hair. The, um, the face was a full paint job, and I tried to get it close enough to the um, collector's actor, Benicio Del Toro. Which, I don't know if I came close to Benicio Del Toro, but I think it's pretty good. The body was painted. Um, I didn't decide to paint the back because it would be covered up by the cloak. And then the legs were painted with two white lines. And then with the uh, brown shoes. And then I did um, decide to paint on, uh, not paint on, the glue on um, the other part of his um, fur that's on his arm. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the collector. So that's it uh, for him. And now our last figure, and there's actually a story behind this one. So I was cleaning off my dresser, and I found this figure that I originally made. So here is my original Mark 50 Iron Man suit that I made. So yeah, this is when, when the like first set photos were coming out. And I did make the body based off of set photos. So yeah. So this is a pretty good figure, but I think I, I did way better on my new Mark 50, which um, I probably will do a video on, so I will be able to do a comparison. So yeah, and then the face um, was um, a painted face, which I didn't don't like that whatsoever, because I don't think that looks like Robert Downey Jr. But overall, that's pretty much it for Iron Man in the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to this channel, and give me some support. Give us some support. Alright, peace out. Bye.